Local demonstrators joined together in Lackawanna County today to raise awareness for racial injustice. The group gathering in downtown Scranton this afternoon to march and educate others about their message. WBRE 28, WIOU 22, Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us with more. Good evening. A little more than a dozen people gathered here this afternoon on Courthouse Square to bring awareness to racial inequality and the alleged police brutality going on across the country. No more names means that we do not want any more names lost. Marching to educate others. We just want our voices heard. Fighting for the justice of black lives. The event's organizer, 21-year-old Nadia Rivera, says she wanted to bring awareness of racial injustice to her hometown of Scranton. I became aware of racism, injustices, and discrimination probably by the age of five. Rivera and others in attendance calling for change. Truthfully, um, I don't only fear for people my age, but younger people too. You know, I have three nephews that I worry all the time, you know, that if they get older and they ever end up in any sort of situation that you know, it could be them. I feel like as a white male, I'm not, there's, there's not enough that I could do. Taylor says joining the March Wednesday was the least he could do to show his support for racial justice. Because I'm just so, I'm just so fed up with police brutality and social injustice. It's not just um, police brutality against black people. It's police brutality against a lot of people of color. Um, I know I fear for my life. I fear for black people's lives and I fear for all people of color's lives. The peaceful demonstration comes three days after 20-year-old Dante Wright was shot and killed by a police officer and during the third week of the trial for former officer Derek Chauvin, who was charged over the death of George Floyd in 2020. Ultimately, I wanted to come here to create a safe place for everyone to talk about the injustices that they feel and to open up and talk about the, the trauma, honestly, because this isn't something that black people see and it's just one and done. This happens over and over. And justice for black lives was this group's clear message today. Reporting in Scranton, Julie Dunphy, 2822 Eyewitness News.